Welcome to the Stutzman channel. My name is Terry. In this video, we're going to be talking about engineering notation. So I guess the best way to do it is let's just uh, jump in and let's just write us a number down. We're going to write down, say, three, five, seven, six, zero. Now, if you remember from uh, scientific notation, a decimal point is here. We move it over till we get one digit to the left of the decimal point. That number be one through nine, not including zero. Okay? And then we keep up with the number of places that we move the decimal point over. And then that will go for an exponent. Now, in engineering notation, we're going to do two things that's different. First, we, on, the, on the digit to the left of the decimal point, we have a choice. We can have one digit, two digits, or three digits. Isn't that nice? So we have a choice of one, two, three digits to the left of the decimal point. However, when it comes to moving our decimal over, now we have to do it in groups of three. We can't go one, two, three, four, five. We have to do three, six, nine, twelve, or minus three, or minus six, or minus twelve. Those numbers are going to be like what's up in our, in our exponent. So, probably, let's just do an example. We'll do a few of them, and then it'll make a little more sense as we go. Our decimal is right here. And just as a, as a referral, let's do scientific notation first, and then we'll go, and then we'll do engineering notation. So, we're going to move our decimal over to the left to right here. So, I moved one, two, three, four. So, that's going to give me... 3.576.1234 times 10 to the 4th. Now, if you recall in what I just said, this 4, remember, we can't have that. We have to have a multiple of 3. In other words, 3, 6, 9, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, whatever it turns out, that we, whether the exponent is positive or negative. So, we're going to start with the same number again. Okay? Decimal point is understood to be right here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to move over three places. So I'm going to go right here. I moved over three places. Now look at my digits to the left of the decimal point. I have to have one, two, or three digits. I have two digits, 35. So that looks good. So now I can write this number down as 35.76 times 10. And we move three places. And then that'll be 10 to the third power. Okay? So I had some uh, numbers down here that I thought might be a little interesting. So let's just jump. I'm going to forget this one because we've already done that one pretty much. So let's just go to one that's less than zero. So let's go to 0 0.35287. Okay. Now, let's go and do our scientific notation first. So we're going to move over one place. That'll be, give us 3.5287 times 10. We moved over one place. We, remember, our exponent now is going to be minus 1 because we're moving the decimal to the right and the number is less than 1. And now, let's look at this number for engineering notation. So we see our decimal point is right here. So now we're going to move the decimal over three places. So... Boom, right off the bat, we got 352 decimal point 87 times, and we're going to take this 10 to the minus 3 because we moved over three places. Okay, let's say we had a number and it was 0 0.0000000. .000000 Okay? Now I think we already know how to do the scientific notation, so let's just go straight for the engineering notation. 
So here's my decimal. I'm going to go one. There's one group for three. There's the three group for th uh, three more uh, zeros for three. But now look, I got two. What do I do now? Do I put a two down? It looks a little confusing. So when you run into a case like this, you have to add zeros to it. So I'm going to add a zero and a zero. Now I got two zero zero. Now it gives me my three places. I'm going to move it over. Okay. Now you can see it's going to be 200. Now this here in engineering notation is going to be 200 times 10, 3, 6, 9, because I moved over 9 places, and it's minus 9. Okay? And you can see that with scientific notation, that would be 2 times 10, 2 to minus 7. So you can see you got a 2 minus 7. Engineering notation, you got 200 times 10 to the minus 9. Keep in mind, this exponent always has to be in a multiple of three, and you've got to move your decimal over in groups of three. What if I, what, what if I have a number that's like 643? What do I do with that? Well, you can't do anything. It's already in the engineering format. Now, we could say, if we wanted to be technical about it, we could say this number could be 643 times 10 to the zero power. But you're not going to see that. You're not going to see a zero power in engineering notation. So you just, and ten, by the way, 10 to the zero power is equal to 1. Okay? Any number raised to the zero power is 1. It could be 5 to zero, 1. 2 to zero power, 1. So then 1 times 643 is 643. So you're never going to write it like this. You just leave it like that. So if you have a number that's one digit, two digits, or three digits, you're done. You don't need to do anything. Okay, now you're wondering how is engineering notation, how is it helpful? Well, it's very helpful because you use it with these here, this table that I set up over here. And you're probably already familiar with this here table. You know, you've heard of uh, mega and kilo milli, right? You've heard of uh, pico, nano, micro. You've heard of all these terms. So now we're going to show you how this table gets applied into the engineering notation, okay? Let's just say I had a number. We'll start it from scratch. Let's say I had a number, say 15600. In other words, I want to make this a million, okay? And we're going to say ohms. 1,560,000 ohms, all right? Let's do it in scientific notation first. So now we're going to go 1.56 times 10. Decimal stood, understood to be here. How many places did I move over? 3, 6. So that's 6, right? Ohms. All right? Look at here, the scientific notation and the engineering notation in this case just worked out. Because look, we got a one to the, to the left of the digit. Remember, we could have one, two, or three digits. And we have the six, that's a multiple of three. So that worked out pretty good. So the scientific and the engineering notation is the same right here. Okay, now this right here, here's where this table comes in. You see, we have 10 to the 6th power. So we come over here, we look, we see 10 to the 6th. What do we see? We see that it's mega, right? So now we can rewrite that as 1.56. Take the 10 to the 6th, get rid of it, substitute in our M. M is our, is our symbol name here, our symbol letter. And then we just put the M in, and then we just write ohms. Okay? And we're done. Now, you see right here where we have mega? Sometimes you hear people say mega ohms, right? Well, technically, and it's just so it's a play on words, but when you're saying meg or kilo for ohms and you put them together, 
you'll you notice you will have mega right ohms and you'll have kilo ohms and by the way the ohm should be lowercase right now and, and same thing for the mega too and for the kilo the only thing that's capitalized is the is a symbol symbol letter okay now you see the a and the o the two vowels so they had a little uh meeting together with i triple e and the ANSI um, members got together in the u.s and they had a little thing about this i guess they didn't like the a and the o and the vowels be together so then they said okay what we'll do is we'll drop the a and we will just say meg ohms and when the kilo we'll just say kill ohms okay so technically you should be pronouncing it that way but you know you could you'll hear people pronounce it the other way and of course you know what they're saying so it really doesn't matter but just a little tidbit there for you a lot of times you'll see numbers by themselves like let's say you'll have 10 to the fifth but there's no other numbers in front of it like one times okay so that is understood right that there is a one out there in place of it but if you have a one usually you'll just drop the one and you'll just write the base number and then you'll write the exponent okay so a lot of times you'll see that in this case over here you see there is no one times in front of it but it is understood to be there okay let's say you have a number that's in scientific notation and you want to go straight over into engineering notation Years ago, I had to, I had to, it confused me the most because of if I had a number as an exponent and I had to bring it down and I needed to move, what did I do with my other number? Did it get bigger, smaller? And it was just confusing to me, but it's simple now, you know. So here's the trick. Let's say that we got a number and it's going to be, let's say, 28,936. Okay, so we're going to put it in scientific notation. So we know that's going to be 2.8936 times 10. How many times did I move over? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now you can see right off that that is not engineering notation because that 4 is not a multiple of 3. However, I 2 is okay because it's one digit. So we got to work on this here exponent. Now, you can look at it and say, well, you know, we could go down one place. We can go to 10 to the third. That's true. And we could go 10. What's our next number to go up? Well, we can't go 10 to the fifth. We got to go 10 to the sixth because six is a multiple of three. Okay, well, let's look at the third. Let's go 10 to the third. All right. You can see that this 10 to the fourth is 10,000. I'm going to go 10 to the third. That's 1,000. I've gone to 10,000 down to 1,000. I am getting smaller. Now here's the trick. When I'm getting smaller over here, I got to get bigger on my other number, my mantissa. That means that I got to make this number bigger. Well, I went down one place, one number from my exponent. I went to four down to three. That's one place I'm going to be moving my decimal point. So, Let's make this 10 to the third. We already took care of that. Let's go ahead and put our time symbol in there. Now, we look over here, we've got 2.8936. We're going to move our decimal one place to the right to make that number bigger. Remember, we made this number smaller. We've got to make the other number bigger. And we do that by moving the decimal point over one place. Now it's 28 point. 936. That is now in engineering notation. Now you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, what, what about the other way? Well, let's look. Can we go 10 to the 6? Okay. Now, this is going to be moving up two digits from 10 to the 4th to 10 to the 6th. Right? So, okay, that's two decimal places I got to move. I have made this number bigger now. I am going from 10,000 and I am now going to go to 1 million. That means that this other number has got to go smaller. Okay, and I got to move it two places. Well, look, my decimal point is already right here. That means I got to go 1, 2. Look, 
You cannot have a leading zero hanging out there to the left of your decimal point. Remember, it's got to be a one digit, two digit, three digit. You can't have no zeros in there. So going from 10 to the 6 is not going to work. So in this case, 10 to the third power is going to be our only option. Well, that's going to wrap this video up. We'll see you guys in the next one, and you guys take care.